When I complain about haters, people usually tell me to ignore the haters. They're just sad and jealous people who have no life. But no, I'm not going to do that in this video. I am going to give the haters advice. Good advice. I'm going to spend my time giving all my attention to you haters and feeding you with helpful advice. Nowadays, a lot of you focus your attention on videos or images. Anything that shows how the person looks, acts or sounds like. The advice here is simple. If you don't like the content, there is no need to waste your finger energy mashing away at your keyboard when you can easily flick your wrist towards the tap and click the exit button. Hater action! Being hatred 20%, thinking 30%, keyboard warrior mode too much! Not hater action, set the rate to click from 175%. See? Less energy required and no effort wasted on the person that you hate. I always see comments like, Ugh, I wasted five minutes of my time watching this shit. Then don't waste any more minutes of your precious life typing shit to that person. Move on. But what about when you guys do post a comment? How do you feel when you post a negative comment? Are you actually satisfied the moment you hit enter? At Anchorisu, you're a f***ing attention seeker who looks like a man! Get off the internet before my brain explodes! Tweet! Feels good. Ew, that's really sad. Are you expecting the person you're hating on to reply back to you so that you can reply back to them with long essay comments and correct their grammatical errors and act as if you're some sort of elite mastermind genius? Because that's a common thing that haters like to do. Here's something even better! How about you put all that time you use to write that perfectly piece of written text into your academic work? Oh, I'm sure you'll pass with flying colours. Or if you're not expecting a reply but you're expecting them to start feeling crap about themselves and never show their faces again on the internet, then I suggest you start using some anti-wrinkle creams from all the wrinkles that you'll get from the fact that they probably don't give a shit. If you're secretly jealous of the people you're hating on because of their looks or success for example, don't let that bring you down man. Don't compare your life to theirs. We all start off somewhere and you can work your way to living the life you want if you don't put obstacles in your way. Thinking about a person or people who don't really have anything to do with the way you live your life is an obstacle and a waste of brain space. You can use that part of your mind to erase them from your thoughts and just focus on grinding on your future goals and endeavours. Just chuck away those insecurities because hating on people to make yourself feel better isn't going to work. They're most likely going to continue doing what they do best whilst you're sitting there all concerned about their life when you can easily be just focusing on making your life better. If you're not jealous and you're just hating because you're a negative fool and you feed off negative energy, instead of releasing your emotions on humans, you might as well look at a bunch of ice cubes. It will most likely give you the response you expect from the people you hate. 1. It's cold, representing their emotions in a reply back to your shitty comment. 2. It melts away, representing the people breaking down after you make them feel like crap. And 3. It's disappearance, representing the people blocking you so you are no longer in their life. <sighs> Oh, and all the ice cubes are next to each other, so that represents all the people that you hate put into one tray, so you can hate on all of them at the same time. Ice cubes are the way forward for you haters. The return of the haters. I remember some haters leaving a crap comment on one video and actually returning a few months later on a different video leaving more crap comments. Hey, wait a minute! If you didn't like me in the first place, why would you come back to watch me again? That hater logic, yo! For you kind of haters, I think you should watch a few cat videos to completely take your mind off the negative things because cat videos always work. Mm -hmm. If I've disliked something I've seen, I wouldn't leave uh, a comment about why I dislike it or I wouldn't dislike the video I just go away and then do my own thing I have been called a hater until this day I still get called a hater because of um, that one Venus Angelic parody that I did yeah you wasted your time making a parody about Venus Angelic that makes you a bitch and a hater first of all making a parody about someone doesn't make one a hater I have no feelings towards her aside from the fact that I find her annoying sometimes. I don't love her, I don't hate her, 
and just because I'm not a fat fan of her it doesn't mean I despise her she's just a person to me like any other person you'll pass by on the street my feelings are neutral anyway to conclude this video to you haters don't focus on bringing people down to your level focus on making yourself a better person so that you can earn the respect that you want thank you for watching I hope you found this helpful and if not <sighs> Good luck in life. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video and I shall see you soon.